the turn of the Phillies now then. With a trial for next week's Oaks. It's a furlong short of this one. It's the Cheshire Oaks. Are one more on three. And it's only a listed race as well. So, Clush and Ballet at the top for David Robertson. Feeder on the roof for Paul Rhodes. Mistrix of the Baltic for Leon Van Rinsburg. Persuasive Rose for Craig Allen. Peace and Release and Poe Valley for Martin Lee and Rivera for Paul Rhodes. Shimna Camellia for Dan Hughes. Society Sphere for CDJ Liggett. Swartz Corner for Darren Thompson. And Windy City for Padre Hogan. So, 11 of them this time. And away they go. Poe Valley closest to us a little bit slow to go. Windy City in the yellow jacket though has got away quickly. He's going to try and get over to the fence but hasn't got the pace to do so I don't think. Uh, it looks like Persuasive Rose might manage to do that and Persuasive Rose has done so. So Persuasive Rose then has got to the fence and the lead of course with a two length advantage of Fiddler on the Roof in second. Closh and Ballet's on the outside of that one and then Fiddler on the Roof is back in Oh, sorry, then Mistress of the Baltic is back in fourth as they go past the winning post with a complete circuit of the track to go then. So they've sort of settled themselves down. They're already quite well strung out. And Persuasive Rose is four or five lengths clear of Cloche Bam Ballet in second. Then comes Fiddler on the roof on the inside of that one third. Gap of a couple of lengths then back to Mistress of the Baltic. Then Pisa releasing the stripes on the outside of Rivera, who is next. And the Grey Schwartz corner is also close up. Poe Valley. Widest on the track is next. The second of the greys is Shimna Camellia for Dan Hughes, who took the previous race to Chester Vars. And we'll be hoping for a classic trial double. Windy City in the yellow jacket just gone past that one at the moment. Society Sphere for CDJ Liggett is the back marker, but it's Persuasive Rose in the lead then. From Fiddler on the roof in second, and then Closh Bambale is in third. Come around the outside, Mistress of the Baltic has now come through to this challenge for the lead. After that one comes Swartz Corner, Rivera is there as well. Windy City's running on, Shimna Camellia is also running on. Piece of release has dropped right out of it, and so too's Poe Valley, fourth in last week's big race in America and going nowhere at the moment in this one and it's Persuasive Rose in the lead from Mistress of the Baltic in second Swartz Corner is in third Fiddler on the roof is next and then Rivera Closh Bambale losing its place also losing its place Fiddler on the roof at the moment Shumna Camellia is trying to run on Windy City is also trying to come round the outside but then racing down towards the final furlong now and nothing's got to this Persuasive Rose Persuasive Rose is still two lengths clear of Mistress of the Baltic in second Rivera is coming through Schwartz Corner as well now all of a sudden they swamp the leader and they're racing up towards the line. There's Rivera, Mistress of the Baltic. Fiddler on the roof's come back from nowhere, but Mistress of the Baltic, Rivera, they flash past the post together. Mistress of the Baltic and Rivera. Fiddler on the roof was making up ground as well. And we finished in a bit of a heap. And this is going to be close. Let's wait for the card. It says Rivera. It is Rivera. So Rivera for Paul Rhodes has taken it so you wonder how much the professor likes a classic is that one Epsom bound next week a furlong further remember next week mistress of the Baltic for Leon Van Rensburg was second the third horse was Paul Rhodes again fiddler on the roof and you'd probably fancy that one over another furlong Swartz corner for Darren Thompson was fourth and Cloche Ballet for David Robertson was fifth